Hi everyone, so welcome to another monthly favourites. So I know you've been seeing my face quite a bit in this last week, but I'm actually trying to get through all my sort of regular videos or my monthly videos so I can get on top of all my requests. I'll get straight to my favourites for January. So the first two are actually accessories uh, or brushes. Now, over January, and especially since it's getting so hot, in Australia I've been going more for my sort of mineral powders loose powders or compact powders as opposed to sort of my more liquid cream or mousse sort of foundations and these are the two brushes I've been reaching for this is the eco tools I believe it's the bronzer brush you can see that there it's actually a really soft bristle brush but they're really really dense very compact and perfect for mineral powder so absolutely been loving that that's a lot like the Artiste by Manicare, the Artiste Professional Brush. This is also the bronzer brush. It's also quite soft and very dense. Not quite as soft as the Eco Tools one, but I still love either of these for mineral powder. And the next one I've been reaching for is the Royal and Land Nicole uh, Powder Brush. It's the C101S, and I'll put all the details down below. This is from their Pro Silk range. You can actually see that it's quite clipped there. But the bristles are also very soft and also very dense as well. So I've been using this for my sort of the dry or the compact powders. It's also great for mineral powder as well. Okay, next thing is a fragrance. Now I still absolutely adore the NANA by Kay Sherelle. It's my all-time favorite scent. Now this one is one of the hard scents and this is by Tokyo Milk. It's just such a cute little container. And this is in the scent Lotus Sake. So basically, just it's a very sort of calming sort of scent. It's very, very citrusy, very orangey, lemony, zesty sort of a fragrance. It's a little bit different to a lot of the other fragrances that I have that are more floral. This is very, very fruity, very citrusy. But I've been sort of loving it to rub sort of on my points, on my wrists. Uh, behind my ear and my neck um, and some other points as well and it just gives that lovely citrus fresh scent during the day. Um, one uh, and again no particular order with these products. I used quite a bit in January. This is a setting spray. It's actually from the model in a bottle range. This is a sensitive skin formula. I've done a review on the original formula. This one is the one with lavender extract. This obviously aim for people with sensitive skin been loving it as a setting spray over any of my sort of powders, mineral powders, cream, liquid foundations, etc. Uh, yeah, this is a, I suppose, skincare product. I did mention, obviously, in my haul video, all of the Mamma Mia products I've been loving and other stuff for my skin, but this is a, another product. This, this is a beauty mineral product, and this is actually part of the stuff that my brother actually gave me for Christmas, the Dead Sea Salt products, and this is the anti-wrinkle cream. I just love these glass jars. But it's just a white sort of cream, quite thick, but it smells divine. I don't have anything sort of to compare it to, but it's just a lovely fresh sort of scent with the Dead Sea salts and minerals and stuff in it. But as the anti-wrinkle, I've sort of been focusing on more of my fine line and sort of more, I suppose, aging sort of areas, which is obviously around my sort of forehead. I don't have any heavy lining, but sort of as a preventative around there around my eye area but particularly around my neck and I do notice since I've sort of hit 30 and I do notice this on a lot of other people they may have fairly smooth sort of faces but you do start to show signs of aging or sort of wrinkling or sagging or more heavy lining or pronounced lining around the sort of neck area you get that sort of crease happening and the sort of more I suppose wrinkling increasing on the backs of the hands and stuff like that so sort of been focusing on those areas with this cream and I must admit it, it gives a really supple sort of soft moisturized finish to the skin but it's way too early to sort of see any effects yet and of course it's really hard to tell with any of these things especially if they're preventative but I suppose a lot of time will tell. Next thing this is actually a blush and as part of my love it or lose it or use it or lose it sort of thing I've been doing over my favorites videos I've been trying to go through my collection more and use products particularly new products I haven't opened if I don't use them I'll give them away or swap them or I'll actually open them and start to use them and try and get through the product. This one's uh, by Pupa. It's actually a blush in number seven. And it's a baked blush. 
really, really pretty. It's quite a bright pink and it's got a gentle shimmer running through it, but it's more a, I suppose, apricot pink. Quite a nice sort of bright sort of pink for summer, but not too much for my sort of skin tone. So it gives a nice sort of flush to the cheek and a little bit of gentle shimmer. So I've been loving that one. And I got this from Priceline when they were discontinuing the line. Another pupa item I've been loving is also a blush, but I've been using it as a bronzer. It's number one in the Silk Touch range. And I used it so much in January, the lid actually sort of came off. This is the mirrored part of the lid. But here's the actual blush or bronzer. It's a beautiful light sort of browny color. It's not orangey, and it does have a really gentle shimmer also running through it as well but a really nice sort of bronzer. I do prefer matte bronzers, uh, still loving my Sugar Baby, but that's been something just to give my skin a little bit more of a dewy sort of finish when I want to bronze it up. Now the product uh, is a liquid eyeliner and this is the Palladio liquid eyeliner. I got this one from crushcosmetics.com.au a couple of months ago. I really do love the tip on this, the applicator tip. You can see it's just a nice felt tip gives a really nice controlled line, you can do it really fine if you push a little bit harder or a little bit more on the side you get a nice thick line it's really good for doing winged eyeliner as well, I've been going more for sort of like a gentle wing on the corners of my eyes uh, over the last month or so and this has been really good for it, I mean I still love my Face of Australia liquid eyeliner, I still love the BYS one that's probably the cheapest cheapest one that, um, that I've ever used and it's actually really good I also love the She one but well, this one's actually been really really nice sort of it's not too wet, not too sort of tacky and it lasts most of the day I have been using the Milani one as well, which I also got from Crush Cosmetics. I know a lot of people absolutely love that one. They love the medium and they love the application. I do find that tip really hard to control as opposed to more the tip ones. And I also find it way too wet and way too sort of tacky. So this is the one I've been reaching for. So another eye product, this is a MAC shadow. And this is a matte finished one in Omega. I've been loving this because it's just a really sort of nice color to sort of either use in the crease or sort of just to give your eye a little bit more depth because I have been going for more of a very neutral look. This is when I sort of want to do that sort of matte look. Again, I blame the Naked uh, palette by Urban Decay that I got for, for Christmas. I raved about this one before but beautiful, beautiful selection of sort of shimmer colors in here. Most of them are shimmer. I think there's only two matte ones so that's why I've been trying to reach for some more matte ones as a sort of depth sort of colour, a crease colour. But I've been loving this whole palette. I've used just about all of the colours. Um, and keeping in that theme of sort of more neutrals colours, I've also been love, re loving the Steeler Smudge Pot. And this is in Kitten. This is very shimmery, but it's an absolutely gorgeous colour. I suppose you call it like a beigey, apricot y colour. I mean, a lot of people rave about this one. So I've been using it again and it's been really easy too in the days I'm in a rush I can just sort of smudge this all over my lid just with a clean finger and then I might, if I want to get a little bit more depth to the eye I might use maybe a darker colour in the corner or I can just use this all over the lid and, and brow and even as a highlight and go so absolutely been loving that one. Okay let's do some lip products. So I've been trying to use stuff that's been shoved away in my drawer. So as a balm, the last month I've been using the Burt's Bee Balm and Honey. And this really does smell like honey. It's a really nice, warm, yummy smell. Really moisturizing, really nice. And over that, just a bunch of sort of lip glosses. I mean, I've got them all in a tub next to my computer where my makeup is now and basically when I'm sort of doing anything I'll just sort of use a little bit or as I'm going in going out or just sort of going through the colors seeing which ones I like seeing which ones work with different um, makeup looks etc but the ones I've been favoring over the last month this first one is a red earth one and it's like an apricotty nude color it's actually really pretty it's great to wear on its own when you just want just to sort of intensify your natural lip color or it's really great over um, lip steps as well and even other glosses and this is in the color BE026 I got this one at Priceline when they were marking this range down and uh, next one is one I've had for a little while and I need to try and use it up and this is a NARS lip gloss in Pillow Talk it's like a ready fuchsia color 
It's actually quite a pretty one. I've actually got it on at the moment with the red earth one over the top. So just to mute it down just a little bit. Next one is a MAC, what is this? A MAC Luster Glass Fluster Rose. It's really nice, light shimmery pink. It's actually fairly sheer, but you can build it up, but it just gives a really nice shimmer to the lips. And again, really nice to wear over matte lip lips if you want to sort of dramatize them. And lucky last is a matte cream sheen. And as you can see, I haven't really used much of it. I mean, I hardly ever used it when I got it, but now I'm really trying to get through it. And this is the Ever So Rich. I cannot remember what it came out with, but it's just a really nice baby doll pink. It's actually very, very sheer on the lips, but really, really nice. I like the finishes of the cream machines. And I've got actually a nail product here. This is the Essential Solar Oil. And I've been using this actually as a cuticle oil. I've been using it on my fingers, on my toes. I got this, it's like a little sample size, I suppose you could call it, for a couple of dollars at my beauty supply store, which is SA Hair, Nail and Beauty Supplies. But really, really nice. It's got, it's like a um, nail and cuticle conditioner. But I, I noticed my sort of hands have been getting fairly dry around the cuticle areas and I've been trying to really take care of them, particularly in summer and also because I've been, work's actually really, really busy. And we're in sort of the water and a lot of different products and sort of labor manual sort of work so I've actually found this has been really really good and I've also been trying to get through all the little samples and little bits and pieces that I have so a lot of the samples if I won't I know I won't use them I'll give them away and or I'll open them I don't know I'm one of those people that just like to keep all these little samples oh maybe one day but making sure I'm going through them this is just one example this is a Fakai glossing cream just for the hair and I've been using it more on the ends, sort of my dry ends of my hair when I'm not sort of straightening it just to get a nice sort of glossy look to the curl on the ends and I've actually really liked this so I might see if I can actually get the full size product so it's good. And another skincare one, this is actually a blemish gel, I think I may have mentioned this before, I will be doing an update on sort of spot pens and spot gels, but this is the Neutrogena one, the one I've been reaching for lately, it's the Rapid Clear 2-in-1 Fight and Fade. And you can get that at a lot of different drugstores, supermarkets, uh, etc, so it's a real easy one to get. And that is pretty much it. The last sort of stuff is just a whole range of things, again, and on my theme of trying to use what I have. Mineral, as I mentioned before, I love mineral makeup. I've even loved getting into and learning about making mineral makeup. Did a course uh, with mineral makeup, and this is for all the stuff sort of that I made at the course and also stuff that I've sort of made after the course. So I've been using a lot of the stuff over the last month, like, you know, bronzers, concealers, correctors and stuff like that so I've sort of been sort of getting through that and sort of using it as well and yeah so hopefully we'll be getting some more sort of base products as well that I can start to get into making some more at home again but we'll see how we go with that but that's basically all of my favorites and I was a whole sort of random label on there but again anything that you in particular want more details on or maybe a review later on please let me know and take care for another month bye